science teacher for the senior class. Here we'll be looking at calculus. In calculus, we have both differentiation and integration. But specifically, we'll be talking about, talking about uh, differentiation. In differentiation, next, we look at this four basic um, subtopic under uh, differentiation, which is the differentiation using the first principle, sum and differences in differentiation, which is polynomial differentiation, then product rule, potent rule. Others will be discussed in the subsequent classes. Then, when talking about calculus, when talking about when dealing with calculus, one thing is sure, it is from the gradient of a straight line. In a straight line, the gradient of a straight line is change in y over change in x. But dealing with calculus at this point, your change in y is the f, x plus change in x, minus the f change in x, all over change in x, which you have it at the point we should have an intermediate here, x2 minus x1. Now, to be very precise and specific, in y is y plus change in y, y for x is x plus change in x. When you combine, it will give us a y plus change in y equal to x plus change in x. This is what you're going to be using in solving, using the first principle, using the first principle only. Now, at that point, before we move on, we must recall that in differentiation, y is always a function of x. I will repeat that because it's very, very important. y is always a function of x. As we have it here, y equals to f of x. y equals to f of x. It is very, very important. Now, if we take note of this, therefore, we can be able to solve questions like this. Using first principle, find the derivative of derivative differentiation, they are common terms. Find the derivative of a 2s squared. Now, why b we have 5s plus 8 and 5s cubed. Solution for the first one. They will give us the function 2s squared, 2s squared. Recall, y is also the function of x. Therefore, it is very common for you to write y equal to 2s squared. Now, using the formula we discussed before, y plus change in y equals to x plus change in x. I said that y is always a function of x. Thus, if I want to solve this, from here, it is the same thing as y plus change in y equal to, in place of my x plus, x plus change in x, I will use this to replace my x squared. Thus, I'm having 2. Open brackets, x plus changing x squared. Now the difference between this and this is just that in place of x, I have replaced it with my x plus changing x. And since it is squared, I'm going to square this as well. Now this and this are still the same. y is y plus changing y equal to the 2 as in the question then s plus change in s represent the x. Nothing has changed. Then it is squared, therefore I'm going to square this. Therefore, if I should move on, y is equal to 2s squared. In place of y, I will put my 2s squared. Therefore, in place of y, I'm going to put 2s squared plus change in y equal to 2 open bracket x plus change in x squared. When this is square, it simply means that you have 2s square plus change in y equal to 2, open bracket, s plus change in x, x plus change in x. That's the meaning of this square. You open it in two brackets. Therefore, open this bracket. What we now have is 2s square plus change in y equal to 2, open bracket, s times s is s square, s times change in x is s change in x, plus times plus is still plus. Changing s times s to give us s changing x plus times plus is plus. Changing s times changing s to give us changing s squared. So, just open the two brackets, you have this. If we have that, therefore, that will lead us to your 2s squared plus change in y equal to 2 open bracket s squared. Now, look at this. You have S changing S, and you also have S changing X. 
Therefore, if you should add it together, s change with s plus s change with s, what you have therefore is 2x change in x plus change in x squared. If that is clear, all you need to do is just do your algebra and you'll be done with it. Now,